What's up, guys? This is Ryan Jones with IOB Elite. If you guys struggle to finish at the rim or dribble with your weak hand, today is going to be a complete guide on how to turn your non-dominant hand into one of your strengths. We're going to be starting off with the ball handling portion of this segment. I'm a left-handed player, so I'm going to be demonstrating all these with my right hand. So to start here, I'm going to go ahead and get in a nice wide base. And I'm going to go ahead and do a V dribble just with my non-dominant hand right into an in and out. So I'm going to go V, in and out dribble, V, in and out dribble. So let's try to have an aggressive in and out and bring that ball over to the center of your frame. I don't want to see a short in and out like this. Let's really try to manipulate that ball to the other side and sell that fake. So for the second ball handling drill, we're gonna work on our ball manipulation over the top here. So if you're using your right hand, right foot should be forward. Using your left hand, left should be forward. So I'm gonna go here, dribble this ball over the top, back and forth over my foot. But let's make sure we pound that ball to get it to come up high enough. And then from there, keep your hand on the side or on top of the ball and shift over to the top, back and forth like this. So next we're gonna get into one of my favorite ball handling drills here. This one's gonna be really awkward for your weekend at first. But we gotta get used to playing with the ball protected behind our pocket away from the defense. So to start here, I'm gonna start with the ball in the front and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the ball back to my back pocket here and then I'm gonna push it through on the dribble. Let's try to keep our hand on the side, the back or on top the entire time. So I pull it back, push through, pull back, push through and try to get it as far back as you can and really challenge yourself and eventually pick up your speed. So now for this next one, we're gonna go ahead and get really creative with our ball handling, but still keeping the ball in our weak hand the entire time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my strong hand behind my back, and I'm gonna go ahead and move forward up and down the court, but I'm gonna kind of freestyle, and everything I do has gotta be with one hand, and make sure my hand never touches it, but I'm still making moves here. Now we're gonna get into the finishing portion of this workout. So there's gonna be three different progressions to this. The last two are very difficult. So to start here, I will demonstrate this one with my left hand because I know a lot of you guys are visual learners. So I'm gonna start with a regular mic in, and this time I'm just going back and forth just with my left hand, getting a nice rhythm with that. Don't care too much about the footwork here. Just try to get at least 10 makes in a row and then go ahead and go to the next progression. So this second progression is gonna be just like the first one, but we're gonna make it a lot more difficult by relying on our spin off the backboard to get the ball to come back. So to start here, if I have it in my left hand, on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and flick my thumb away to twist that ball back in. And you wanna to try to get it a little wider on the backboard and make sure you're relying on that ball spinning all the way back each time. And now when I'm on this side of the basket, Again, ball on my left hand, but I'm gonna keep it higher here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and twist that pinky in. And same thing, try to get it a little wide and make that ball grab the backboard and spin and come back each time. So with that one, you might have a little trouble with one side or the other. Stay on one side if you need to until you get it. And then let's go ahead and go back and forth, relying on our spin each time, not too concerned with the footwork, but making sure that ball grabs the backboard and comes back middle. So this one here is really gonna help you improve your coordination with your offhand. So shout out to Coach Ross with good drills. I originally saw this with him. I'm gonna throw the ball off the backboard with just my weak hand, jump up and touch it three times, and then finish on the fourth. Once that one gets too easy for you guys, go ahead and challenge yourself. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing and go ahead and reverse it on the other side with my right hand. So one, two, three, catch, reverse. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe so YouTube knows to suggest helpful videos like this to you in the future.